Commander, orbital sensors have... Although we didn't get a lot of weapons for the Avian Tool yet, but we will. Once you get them, like, it drops armor like crazy, from what I remember. It's the big brain enemies. Come what may. Give me a second. I can overclock, overclock the CPU a bit. And up the fan speed. We know the stakes, Tarkas. The time for proclamations is long past. Advanced target knowledge. The screen shake, Jesus. Right there, we need to get the foundry on the left. Oh my fucking god. I'm just gonna attack, move, I can't see shit here. Alright. All that loot. I see the commander has no problem dealing with it. Ooh, melt. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. This is basically the attack uh, the tool gets with the... The assault cannon he has. Why am I trying to take cover? It's not gonna matter. All that loot? Jesus. Kill the fucking thing? Guess not. Oh yes. Perfect. Let's get him there and see what this does to the structures. No, oh, there's the bad guy. And I didn't watch it, of course. That's a new weapon. Looks like a yeah, I missed this.
a great victory, Commander. Let's see what we get. Our what we got. Our librarians report the Hive Fleet shuddered and screamed when you dealt the killing blow. And we are even closer to obtaining the biotoxin we need to execute Ooh, our plan. Ooh, Shrednaut Autocannon. Nice. This drope was frustratingly close to giving us a pure genetic sample, but it has undergone small mutations. We did gather valuable data, though, and we are getting close to isolating Level 19. a primary Jesus. hive's genetic template. Why must we find a primary hive? Tyranids mutate rapidly, Sergeant. This is what makes them such deadly opponents. They are constantly evolving to counter our weaponry. I see. I think this is what you get in Chaos Rising. So we're already getting that loot. Several generations of mutations. Yes, finding a primary hive will allow us to develop a poison that will kill all Tyranid variants quickly. They will not have time to adapt to resistance. If we get anything we can use, I don't want to use that. Screen shake is unbearable. Nope. Nope. I guess we can leave Angel Gate as last. Although... A powerful... Hmm. I think there was a crash if you played the Angel Gate mission with... Uh, Davian Till. I'm not sure though. Raveners can appear without warning. We need Oh, fuck six. Look at all the loot. You probably can't play with. Yeah, I think these are purity uh, chaos rising items. It's, it's, yeah, pure, pure or chaos or corrupt ones. You know what, if I blaze through this campaign on the on the normal mod, I'm gonna download the hard one and play on that. Make a playthrough of that too. Because, uh, like hard mode mod, only uh, adds 300% 300% more health and damage to the enemy. I don't think that's gonna help them too much, but still. Yeah, I'm gonna assume this is for uh, Terminators. Congratulations on your victory, Commander. You're now a step closer to a Let's actually check it out. Sample we need. If it's you know, Angelos out. This level twenty four. Never mind. And I would have lost an eye, like Captain Thule. How did Captain Thule lose his eye? 
He would never answer when we asked him. Modesty on his part. He lost it on Cronus when he destroyed the Necron Lord. The blow should have killed him. Sheer stubbornness was the only thing that could explain how he survived. He never did take credit for destroying the Necron Lord. He always attributed it to Mikolas. But those of us close to the fight saw that Mikolas had already gone down to wounds. Captain Thule liked to see his men succeed. I think that was what he liked most about command. Never mind, I guess we're not gonna see what it is. Level tw 28. Goddamn. Commander, we have a priority target. A lictor has been. Okay, we're not getting attacked. Nope. Let's get Davin 2. At least I think it's on this map, on this mission. Maybe not. Was a long ass time ago. We don't need to watch this. There have been a series of vicious deaths in nearby communities, Commander. This beast must be responsible. Then it has much to account for. Death be understood. I think the friendly fire there, were, or the explosion of the, you know, big brain dude, actually killed most of them. Oh my god, the plasma cannon is so good. Let's actually send the commander this way, see how much damage he actually does. Hopefully he doesn't know. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of to be expected since there's so many units per squad when the enemy, like, yeah, 50 grunts and he's you know melee is kind of not as much AOE so I might actually give the Commander a ranged weapon, I guess. Maybe a AOE ranged weapon, like a flamer. Hopefully this thing doesn't die instantly. Stay alert. He is luring us in. It's actually gonna put some resistance on. Oh. No 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 kill those. Good. Never mind it just melted. Killer loose among the populace. 
There are plenty more to take its place, unfortunately. It is nice seeing a big group of space marines on screen, though. I like the Unmoda game. Well done, Commander. These infiltrators destroy morale and make a stable defense impossible. Angelos out. Commander, some heartening news. Yes, we were able to isolate the final pieces of genetic information we needed. We should be able to locate a primary hive now. Preliminary scans show a hive on Typhon that could be an exact match. I've uploaded the hive's location to your map display. Yeah, let's see about the ranged weapon. What's the blessed flamer we got? Have. Do we have another one somewhere, I think? Yep. Okay, let's see how he does with that. Maybe I should equip everyone with melee weapons and see how they do. Commander. Typhon orbits a star on the outer edge. Commander, we have located. Oh, never mind, this is where we get David too. At the heart of the Tyranid Hive lies the reclamation pool. Yeah, sure. We all seen this cutscene a million times. Let's see how he does with the flamer. Or yeah, they're in range. Of course they are. Wish there was an actually a command that like stops them from shooting at all. Not so sure about the flamer. He can't like shoot, right? Because he's in melee, right? Yep. He still takes no fucking damage though. Well, I mean, the flamer does decent damage. Just that everything dies before he can get to it.
the screen shake. Jesus. Darkest and Avatars are just destroying everything. That was the last of them. Expect more attacks. Space Marines. Yeah, definitely need to get the, the dual hand sword or the thunder hammer. Or dual claws. Okay, attack speed is up. Maybe, just maybe, we can get some kills. Before everyone else destroys everything. They die before they even drop to the ground, Jesus. Blighted Bolter. Yeah, we're getting Chaos Rising stuff. Who knows, the game difficulty might spike once we get into Chaos Rising when we get knocked down constantly. Can't even imagine Davian Tool now. With all his skills and weapons. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the plasma cannon is too OP. That's the problem with melee, it, they just can't use it. Especially in this mod, because there's so many enemies. That was one of the problems in, you know, in the mod before. Well, not the problem, but just the inconvenience. Oh, uh, now this might be a crash if we kill it before Davian Tool drops in. 
Yeah. Maybe not. Ooh, we're actually getting, getting casualties. Go smack him, come on. Okay, let's... All the sound effects. Well... think these were supposed to heal it. <laughs> right? <laughs> well done. This hive will wither without its sirens. And Captain Thule is with us again. Is that you, it is Thaddeus, Captain. Do you not recognize me? The secrets of Cronus shall not pass my lips. Captain Thule must rest now. His revival was a long and difficult process. This victory will long be remembered in the halls of glory. Okay, now let's see what we can get give the dreadnought. The Powering the armature. Oh, we can't skip this. Captain Thule, can you hear us? 